Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are back with Towns. We just want to load it up. So here we go, loading 14B. On our last episode we were just establishing the basics. Uh, for anyone that forgot uh, how to establish, um, I guess, hay production. A lot of people yell at me for mixing up hay and wheat and all that jazz. I don't care! <laughs> is an easy trick is to collect some, plant it, and when it grows, collect it again, and then we'll have four, collect it again, then we'll have eight, and then so on and so forth. Yes, we sacrifice our food production right off the get-go, but we're lucky enough to have quite a few apples and pear trees close by. Plus, we also have some pork, cows, wild sheep, badgers, and the good old rooster or chicken. We also have a bull, your bull, your bull, and some birdies. There's a whole bunch of stuff in towns. So many things in towns. And then we got the carnivorous plants that would like to eat our citizens. Yeah, see, I think we're actually missing. Uh, an entire floor. So what I'm going to do is just dig another ladder. Because I want to get to a floor that actually has combat. Just for the fun of it. So this is going to mess this floor up, but that's going to be fine. So we're going to go mine. I'm going to mine out this coal. Because you can actually see it when you're up on this level. You can see that there's a slime here. So I'm hoping we can actually hit some enemies here. And if not, I guess we could always this way. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, looks like they're getting in combat on their own somehow. I don't know how she got there. Adeline. But she's, uh... Oh, maybe he fell through the roof? And then into our territory? That would make sense because I was digging the floor. See, there's no floor there anymore. These levels. You towns, you. Okay, I want to... Okay, we're still in on pause. We're gonna go through our zones again. Uh, we can... we've done our carpentry, our masonry. We got a bakery, dining room, forge, personal room, kitchen, hospital, uh, arena. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, balcony, uh, tavern, tavern room, uh, market and barracks. Uh, I'm just going to establish a few things right off the get-go here as we're I Just wanted to list that off for anybody that hasn't seen this game in a long time. So two of those And that should be good for now So that's gonna give us some barrels that we can put one for coal definitely because we're getting cold cold to death death I tell you uh, we're going to establish a tavern, because that will bring heroes to our map. So, go like that. Oop, it's probably a little big, but that's okay. Now we want zones again, zones again, tavern room. And that's usually what I do, is just little 3x3s. Three and again, make sure you press shift. Jeez, Crystal. getting old. I can't remember. That should be good enough. Uh, you can actually make rooms downstairs and that will allow you to have uh, dwarves come to your liking. Okay, I don't see... I don't see any of the barrels, so I'm assuming they're not made yet still. So, Komodo, go away. It's my new antivirus. It's a pain in the butt half the time, actually. Used to use AVG. If anybody has a recommend, go ahead. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we gotta look out for that tree spirit guy. See, and that's the nice thing, is we'll actually have trees right there. And the same thing I said, you can uh, reuse it. Or actually you can't, because you need the, the shrubs to make it work. So, we're gonna harvest this. And the reason they're not, um... Uh, not getting rid of the wheat is because we don't have a mill or anything yet. So that's the only reason that we get, we're lucky enough to be able to replant everything. So there we go, now we have two of these. So now we can say manage resources, raw material, coal. That will at least fill up some of our resources. Manage material, coal. <laughs> so we'll see how long that takes. For some reason they're taking their time. Material, coal. I don't know if they're less active when it's nighttime. This is brand new, this day and night cycle. At least it's not too bad for darkness. And it seems like uh, day and night is uh, quite fast. So here we go. Event dawn. Dawn of a new age. Uh, we're also going to go under planting again. We're going to extend it. Now the roosters actually say something. So next time that's fully grown, it'll be good to go. Let's go down here. See how this place is doing down here. See, that's still dirt. Maybe I just want to keep on digging. Because uh, we want to get to a point where we can actually get some stone. And yes, there is stone on the surface. Yeah, let's work with the stone on the surface for now, because we are wusses. So let's see, right there. That looks like it's only one level, so we're going to mine. Mine. There we go. And then we're going to craft some weaponry. We're going to stone. We gotta get some spears on. So five spears. Let's actually look at what we need here. So a stone, stone, wood. So they're gonna go through that pretty fast. Uh, where else do we have some basic stone? And cancel, cancel, Kabodo, go away. Okay, so that is on that level. We got mining here for layer and there now how is this going manage stockpile see I don't know why they're not filling that up uh, we're also going to just manage the stockpile and make sure wood... Yeah, wood was uh, collected. Okay, so there we go. We got enough decent stone there to probably establish us another... Let's do another uh, four. That will give us our perfect nine for defenses. And our people will actually uh, be able to defend themselves now. So you can right click on your people and then just say auto equip. So we had Fedrick, Osmond, Joseph, uh, Merwin almost, and Adeline. So it actually looks like she might have survived against, let's get the people that are actually idled. So Edmund, and Meryl. Get them all equipped up. Ready for war. Oh, shit. So I'm just going to destroy those remains. Those are probably from last time. But that's what happens if you have a graveyard. You can actually have ghosts come out. And uh, they can be quite a pain in the butt. 
Uh, let's also, I can show you this tab. So here's our citizens. So this tells us, so these three still need spears. So that's the easiest way to do it. It's just auto-equip, auto-equip, auto-equip. And everybody should have a spear. Okay. What else do we need, people? For some reason, these layers don't seem to be working as good. Unless they really changed it up. Nope. Er, let's go here. Oh, doesn't allow me. So it even becomes nighttime downstairs, so at least it tells you. There we go, mine a ladder. Ah, uh, no. Cancel. Close menu. There we go. So we got a little bit of a nighttime sound going on here. All four wheat are ready to go. And there we go. So in this episode, we created some spears for all our people to make sure that they're ready for war. We've also expanded our uh, hay production here from uh, two to eight, slowly but surely. I usually play at a higher speed, but let's play at a slower speed this time and uh, you guys get to see a little bit of growth. So this is Christonian here. Thanks for coming by and hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next week. Bye! And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. See you guys next time. Bye!